This simple five step roadmap is all you need to crack gate under all in your rank 100 from zero within a year. Because this roadmap was made by the proven strategies that I got to know by interviewing and studying the preparation strategy of past 10 years gate AR1. Hi, I'm Raghuram Chandrakumar, M Tech Alam of IIT Madras. Let's get started. Let me start with things that AR1s don't reveal on social media. Gate 2022 Mech AR1, IIT Bhuvaneshwar graduate. In his first year gate preparation, he didn't get his desired rank. So he prepared second time and got AR1. Gate 2023 Civil AR1. He is 2016 IIT Kanpur graduate. It took three years for him to get AR1. So the truth is, no matter what, cracking gate requires hard work. Second, this is Shriya Sharma, one of the most persistent air ones in history. He prepared for four years. Contrast, this is Aditya, an ELA graduate who gave gate in computer science and with just six months preparation, he got AR-379. In interview, Shriya told the main reason for his initial failures is not having a proper revision strategy. So the truth is, while hard work is mandatory, along with it, right strategy is essential for getting a rank in a year. And that is the goal of this video. Step 1 build discipline. Here are three essential elements to build it. Number one, Swarna Vish was the first ever get AR1 from third year. If you look at his typical college daily routine, every day he prepared five hours at home, along with it, three hours study in train and... You can't ignore the fact that uh, the college hours preparation that is going on during that time. Napoleon Hill puts it, starting point of all achievement is desire. So number one, having a burning desire. Number two, for my gate preparation, I enrolled in coaching. Initially, in classes, I wasn't able to grasp concepts. So after class, I sit with a student who, whenever the educator poses a question in class, he answers first. Day passes by and just before gate exam, one day I saw him coming to study hall with low energy and I asked him, what happened? He told, gate is not my cup of tea. I asked, why? He told, during the preparation, he fell in love with a girl and the girl left her. Furthermore, in that period, he went to her hometown to convince her and all. Now, I believe relationships are meaningful thing in life. Also, I believe it's best to postpone relationships and every other source of distractions during gate. So, when I joined coaching in uh, 2018 July, I have an uh, Instagram. I have deactivated Facebook and I have changed my SIM card and uh, I have started using that new SIM card for WhatsApp. So, no one knows that number except my parents and a few of my close friends. So number two, get into mong mode. Number three, Sumit Bambu, an IIT Bombay graduate, gate 2019 MEAR1, currently an IES officer. Even in his test series, so first test may mujhe aisa feel kara diya ki mere concept ke andar kafi blank spaces thi mere ko yaad hai pehla test jo 15 number ka tha usme mere 3 3.5 number aaye the because getting good at solving problems comes after practicing a lot of problems so in initial stages there will be many challenging days at that time we must choose to be persistent now let's move on to the core preparation strategy to understand that we must be aware of all things about gate exam its syllabus weightage exam part let me share in 60 seconds gate graduate aptitude test in engineering an aptitude test on engineering Concept. as simple as that but there are three challenges first syllabus is big that's why students with poor revision strategy were not able to perform well second weightage is unpredictable 2023 mech paper strength of materials a subject which used to ask for an average of eight marks was being asked for 15 marks but on the same year theory of machines one of the biggest subject in mechanical was asked for just four marks but officially in total 100 marks 15 marks for aptitude and one safe but we can take is 13 marks for mathematics so mastering aptitude and max alone will help us clear cut off in all streams. These are the syllabus of all major streams. Third, risk. Gate happens once a year with three hours duration. So that three hours in a year decide your gate rank. But recently, to minimize the risk, gate introduced two paper concepts, allowing candidate to write two papers. Positively, it reduces risk as it increases opportunities for higher studies, but PSUs will never consider it. Adding on, one has to put additional efforts for its preparation. So there is a risk of underperforming in both papers for new students. Now, for those of you who is looking for quality resources, let me tell you certain truths that coaching institutes never want you to know. This is gate 2025 CS AR1, the first ever AR1 to score 100 out of 100 in gate. Feat which was considered impossible for decades. The question is, does he enrolled in any coaching? Now you might ask me, what if he is an IITN? This is Asif Asan, gate 2017 ME AR1. In 2017, he not only scored highest marks in mechanical, but also scored the highest among all streams in 2017. If we look at his credentials, he is from a tier 3 college and he never enrolled in any coaching. So the truth is, one can get good rank with just free resources. So here are the best free resources for GATE. 
Despite good free test series, I recommend buying one good coaching test series. As we will see in the strategy, it is a crucial part of our strategy. But if you want to make your preparations more organized and easier, best way is through your coaching. And if you are looking for quality coaching at affordable cost, I recommend Gatewala as it is one of the most trusted among students with batches available in English and English. Currently, new batches are launched for Gate and ESC with special discounts. You can use code Raghu Finder for additional 500 rupees of batch details. ESC Mains 2025 batch. Conventional practice program 1999 ESC mains 2025 test series 1000 Parakram 2.0 2026 ESC plus gate plus PSU 10 triple nine Stasis 2.0 ESC plus gate 2027 14 triple nine now Also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from PW offering gate Kasana PYQ and more. Don't miss it out. Enroll now. Now let's move on to preparation strategy. We had seen step one. Now step two, the timeline. In history, if you ask any toppers, the most important thing that contributed their success. This is what I highlighted the most. Uh, give as many mocks as possible. In last four to five months, to revise just the highlighted part of reference book and attempt the test as much as I can. If I'm writing mock test today, I will write one more mock test day after tomorrow. So divide the preparation into two parts. First eight months and last two months. First eight months, we call it foundation phase where we are going to complete the entire syllabus. And last two months, we'll call it gate preparation phase where we are going to do a lot of test series. For those who are starting late, take time till December for foundation phase. Step 3. Subject sequence. One reason Aditya, the guy who cracked computer science in 6 months despite from an ELEC background, completed his syllabus faster is the way he covered his syllabus. 1. He completed his syllabus from base to advanced. 2. He completed 2 subjects parallel. Here are the best sequence based on my research from top educators video on YouTube. This is for CS, Mac, E C E C. Now step four, build a strong foundation. The goal of foundation phase is to complete the entire syllabus with the ability to keep all the portion at our fingertips. Here's how to do it simple in three stages. Our gate 2025 hero, Swarnava Bishwas, he's not just made history in third year, but also from his preparation strategy point of view, he made history by becoming the first AR1 who didn't bought any coaching test series. All Bishwas required was some practice full length mock test in the gate official website. So where does this confidence come from? From. Seeing that in the gate examination, most of the questions are conceptual questions and if your basics are cleared, you will be able to score at least 50 55 marks. So the first stage of foundation phase, conceptual clarity. But the reality is most questions in gate is numericals. Hence, conceptual clarity is not simply understanding. So basics in a sense, I, are you mentioning about only conceptual clarity or like... Concepts plus intuition. Now let's see how to build clarity and intuition scientifically. Initially, when you read a concept or attending a lecture, try to understand the underlying idea of a concept. Some of you feel I got the concept, some feel I didn't got it. In both cases, that's not enough. There is a famous quote from Richard Feynman. First principle is that you must not fool yourself and you are the easiest person to fool. So when initial efforts were made, we need to solve problems. For us, the best resource is PYQ. Solve some PYQs till you are confident with the concept. Now this concept has registered in your brain deeper like this. Now, once you are confident, prepare short notes. Short notes should ideally contain one liner of concepts, formula, some important parts of derivation, and shortcuts banai. I recommend a simple system used popularly by American students called Coral Note Taking System for our short notes purpose. First, split the page that you are writing into three parts. Second, write all the things that we had just discussed in top left and top right. Simply treat this as regular pages. Third, the bottom portion we reserve it for future. The mistakes that we'll commit while giving tests. We'll write it here. That day, when you're revising your short notes, you will be aware of all the essential information. Now, stage two. This is Pure Sharma. He got AR1 in CS in 2024, who also scored the highest marks in GATE 2024 across all streams, equaling the 2024 DAAR1. But there is one thing he isn't happy with this preparation strategy because his strategy requires two years to get AR1. And the reason is. Okay. So, in the first attempt only, I would have given more time to revision and mocks. Revision. Yeah. So, I think. Uh, so, you technically spend more time in studying. Get, uh, better score in the first attempt only. So stage two, revision. Different toppers follow different strategies with some even... Yeah, whenever I have, whenever I think that I forget some subjects, just took the notes and revised all the concepts. I believe the best strategy is the one which worked for most toppers backed up with science. It's based on the science of space repetition and long-term memory. Aligning with the toppers revision strategy, we will follow a periodic revision strategy. Here is a simplified three-phase strategy to revise efficiently. Phase on revision. Next day revision. Did you remember in first day our plan is to understand concepts, then solve some PYQs, then make short notes. The next day to it, whatever we learned on day one, we have to revise it. And this has to be done every day till 
till the end of foundation phase phase to revision end of week revision the seventh day of the week block two hours to revise what we had learned from day one to day six phase three end of subject revision once a subject is over block a day to revise the current subject and after the completion of second subject pick one more subject which you are least confident and revise it so from the end of second subject onwards this revision includes revising two subjects and there is a hack to do this revision very faster and efficient which is revision ka best approach aap practice se hi kar payenge we'll try to add scientifically one more layer into this which is testing as barbara okle mentions testing in itself is a extraordinary powerful learning experience if you compare how much you learn by spending one hour studying versus one hour taking a test on the same material you will retain and learn far more as a result of the hour you spend taking a test after revision the most important thing in foundation phase is the stage 3 now in my career after joining iid madras i had opportunities to talk with many toppers educators and i studied the interviews of many toppers all of this is to mainly to figure out the best principles in their preparation strategy but also in my journey i've been in touch with vast majority of aspirants who have worked hard but underperformed in gate exam time and time when i hear about their preparation strategy to find out where they went wrong most of the mistakes are pointing towards one common cause and it is not what you think because also in this journey i came across many toppers including kunal srivatsava sir who is 2012 esc ar1 gate 2013 ar44 did you know in his btech he had failed in nine subjects 10 placement interviews ending up with a cgp of 6.3 despite all he is a topper in esc and gate all within a year of graduation so i believe anyone can crack but there is one thing underperforming students miss that toppers did is deliberate practice and that's our final stage of foundation phase in simple words sain says in order to become an expert at something one must constantly practice above their comfort level काफी सारे क्वेश्चंस रिपीटेटिव होते हैं मैं ये क्वेश्चंस स्किप कर देता था क्योंकि इसमें टाइम भी वेस्ट होता था और आपको नई लर्निंग भी नहीं मिलती थी इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ गेट एग्जाम इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी कंफर्टेबल सॉल्विंग सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ डिफिकल्टी ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम देयर इज नो पॉइंट इन रिपीटिंग व्हाट वी आर कंफर्टेबल विद स्टूडेंट मस्ट सॉल्व डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम एंड इंक्रीजिंग डिफिकल्टीज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो ड्यूरिंग योर रिवीजन एंड व्हेनेवर यू गेट फ्री टाइम सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स दैट्स चैलेंजिंग एंड दैट इज वन गुड थिंग हैविंग अ टेस्ट सीरीज बिकॉज़ द प्रॉब्लम्स इन गुड टेस्ट सीरीज आर न्यू एंड ऑफन चैलेंजिंग नाउ लेट्स कम आउट ऑफ फाउंडेशन फेज एंड लेट्स move on next steps of preparation strategy step 5 ac your preparation phase the ideal goal of this step is in my final exam of the gate i finish my paper in one and a half hours i asked them can i leave they said no insane crazy unbelievable but our goal is not that extreme instead we want to be so prepared that we can comfortably complete all the questions and there is no better strategy than there is a saying you know sweat more in uh, training and bleed less in battle ideally we should attempt at least 15 to 20 full length test the routine will be like test analyze revise repeat here main element of growth is analysis there is a quote from robin sharma a mistake is a mistake only if you make it twice during analysis first whatever the mistakes you made note it down in the mistake columns of your short notes second for any topic where you can't able to solve solve more problem third work on your accuracy and figure out the way you attempt test like some toppers give the exam from 1 to 65 and some will answer from easy to hard figure out what works for you and get good at it. and in last two months mandatory build aptitude and max routine as we know there is only one thing shorna bishwas was unhappy with this preparation one negative marking that i have got was in the verbal aptitude so okay. if i were to start over again i will put effort in verbal aptitude in general aptitude and max is a real bang for your buck it's easy weightage is certain and relatively small subject so how do we ensure full marks in it in the last two months every single day until the final week before the gate exam dedicate your first over to aptitude and max now i skipped one step if you study toppers again and again one thing that all toppers have is a crazy time table you have to try to schedule your everyday Uh, work. What you want to do? Main thing is your timetable. Now, step six: make your daily routine. But the reality is, one can't copy one topper's daily routine blindly because their BPT situation, environment, skills are different. And the reality is, preparing one's own timetable is easy. It requires understanding of few basic time management principles. Since that topic requires a video in itself, the data and evidences on topper's daily routine that I collected while making this video, I'll present it with you all in the next video with scientific proof. So make sure to subscribe. And if you want the subject sequence and all the guidance resources that I used in this video for quick reference in your journey, get it free from my LinkedIn. Stay driven. Bye bye. But I see the light from far away. It's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight.